when I'm joined by Scott Kushner, who covers Tulane for the Advocate. Simple question. What happens now? Crystal ball, what happens with the Tulane coach's job this offseason? I think my guess is as good as Jake Gotro's and as good as Rick Jones's at this point. Nobody really knows. And I don't even think Rick Dixon has a real answer because he's going to wait to hear from the doctors, number one. They need to know what's going to happen with Rick Jones. Because if Rick Jones is able to return, that kind of changes the whole paradigm. If he can come back for one last year, then you have the option of letting him coach out the rest of his contract, which would let you not have to pay for a buyout, and that would save the athletic department not only some money, but would allow you know, the best coach in program history to go out on his terms. If he can't return, then you either go with Gotro, or you have to go in a totally new direction, which Rick Dixon has never had to do for the baseball program. That's right, and you wrote uh, in Friday's paper, uh, the most disturbing thing maybe this year is the lack of support you see at Turchin, although to me it seems pretty simple. If you start winning again, people will come back, agreed? Absolutely, and you know, the, the beer man of 18 years there told me the same thing. He's saying I had a crew of six or seven people here when it opened, now it's just him. So it's pretty simple. When, people, when you don't win and you don't play good opponents, nobody's going to show up. This team is not in the SEC. They're not bringing in huge teams every weekend. They're moving to a conference where baseball is an unknown. There are only eight baseball teams in the American Athletic Conference. You need to be stable yourself, and then you got to figure out where to go from there. You can't try to put people in the seats with marketing and promotions and all that stuff before you start winning. And we won't know that until we know Rick Jones' health, which will, which will be this offseason. Okay, I know you follow college baseball. 